two, a one, two, three, four. This week's feature lesson is a big one. We're going to do the classic old time bluegrass tune, Rabbit in a Log, or sometimes uh, known as Feast Here Tonight. We're going to do it in the key of C. And as you just saw and heard, I created two arrangements for it. I did a very basic and uh, straight ahead Carter style arrangement, staying right within the chord, playing that melody right on the head. And then I also did an uh, intermediate to an advanced arrangement where we get uh, pretty creative with lots of eighth note runs. We do some really cool double stop stuff. And we also get up around the neck a little bit up here. We get up there on the neck a little bit and we have a little fun on the B part of that arrangement. So it, all in all, it's about 66 measures, I believe. So a lot of music to work through, but it's a fun tune. And I wrote it um, in mind of playing it at high tempos as well, because this song can get played again uh, pretty quickly at the jam. It's an easy song and it's fun to play fast and sing fast. So we want to be ready for that uh, for our solo when it comes time at those high tempos. Okay. So if you'd like to check out purchasing the full length version, as it's just a preview here, you can click the link below and it will shoot you on over my website. And there you can do so. It's going to come with about 50 to 60 minutes of video, PDF tabs for both arrangements, and then um, four audio backing tracks to help you work your speeds up as well. All right, and if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, and you feel like I might be a good fit for you, learn about being a member at my site. You can access this lesson and over 350 video lessons, three courses, and in a video exchange program allowing you to submit videos to me for critique. And you can do all that for a yearly or monthly fee. Okay, I come out with a lesson every week and they um, and I have tons of stuff in this old time bluegrass genre. Okay, that's my that's my bag, so to speak. All right. So anyway, we're gonna start walking through uh, the first few measures for the beginning arrangement for Rabbit and the Log, Kia C. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so go ahead and start walking through the first arrangement here for Rabbit in the Log, Key of C. And uh, this first arrangement, of course, is largely kind of in the Carter style. Basic straight ahead melody. And any markings on the bottom staff are left, or I'm sorry, are right hand pick directions. So staples are the downs, the V's are the ups. And anything above the staff, like little numbers, will be the left hand fingerings. There's not too many here in the first arrangement, but there will be some in the second one. And downstrokes on downbeats, upstrokes on upbeats. Very, pay very close attention to the down, um, the down and up picking, as that will allow you to play this or any arrangement for that matter up to speed cleanly. So, here's this first four, uh, three measures, and we'll break them on down. So one, two, ready, go. And so the melody's gonna hang out on this uh, G note a lot, okay? It'd be a lot of repetition about that. And also know that once you get these first um, about six measures, that you're actually gonna have about 12 of the measures memorized for this piece because we'll see this phrase again um, later on down the line. So yeah, quarter notes on the open G start the piece. Okay, just quarter notes. And then we got a strum. 
that's what that 010010 is. It's just a strum on the C chord. And, um, you know, you can strum the whole thing. It's not the end of the world, but I like to focus my strumming in this style to the highest sounding three strings. So that's, again, you got the two eighth notes there. They're beamed together. Down, and then second fret D. So you don't have to move anything in the left hand. So two G notes, strum, and then an E note. Okay, and then moving on to the next measure, open G, strum, open G, strum. So those two measures go. And then the next measure, zero two hammer on on the G. Use your second finger. Then an open G, strum, and then a two zero pull on the D string. And let's just land on the third fret A. I know it's not on the screen there, but that's gonna kind of end our phrase. So again, those are eighth note hammer on. Let's not do them too quick. We don't want. three measures together now. Ready, go. A little quicker. One, two, three, four. One more time. Three, four. the next few measures. So as I mentioned earlier, we land on that third fret A string. That's a C note, the bass note in the C chord. And then we just have a measure of strum here. I'll, I'll play these three measures though. All right, so some similar stuff. We're gonna see that a lot. You know, the melody is really simple. So we're gonna see some, again, uh, similar things throughout the whole piece, similar lines or uh, melody, melody lines, motifs, if you will. So, so measure four, it's just kind of like a strum pattern there, and I know there's a little tie in there. And that's what that note in parentheses is. Is it's it's a tie. We don't strum that note. Um, so what we have is down, down, up, down. Just kind of filling in, filling in space there. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So keep the right hand moving no matter what when we strum. That's something I always tell my students. We always want to keep the right hand moving, but we're just choosing when to hit the strings. So one, that again we'll see that little strumming pattern again too and then uh, measure five is just like measure one so two open G notes in the quarter notes so one two and then a strum and then second fret D and then uh, measure six is much like almost exactly like measure three the zero two hammer on the G open G, strum, and then second fret D. Okay, and you're already there, so. Those three measures, two, three, four. the first six measures all together. So from the top, so one, two, three, four. Okay. Again, I land on the downbeat of measure seven. 
but not on the screen. One, two, three, four. Okay, and there's a little bounce in my playing too. Nice light, you know, light and easy in the right hand, especially if we're gonna play this fast, which this song often can get going high speeds. It doesn't always have to be, but it, it certainly can uh, if you're playing with other people at the jam or something. All right, so let's move on to the next few. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. They sound like this. Ready, go. And right here, so we're kind of ending the um, first part of the A and we're kind of repeating the A part again. Okay, so that's where we're gonna see similar things. And it's kind of like again, beginning. Ah, kind of keep playing the wrong note there. Okay, so well, let's back up. Measure seven. Again, we're landing on the G chord, the five. The melody note though is gonna be on the D string, open D, and then we strum. Then zero to hammer on the A. Strum again. And then third fret, low E, the low G note, and strum. And then we have a pickup, two quarter notes on the D string, second fret, third fret. All right. Common little move there too, just kind of, kind of almost an arpeggio within the strum. Cause we got D, a B note, and a G note. One, two, three. All right. So. And then going on there, measure nine. Again, this is going to be a lot like kind of repeating. We're going to repeat mm, one, again, one, two, three, four, five measures. Just like for the first five measures here, we're going to see them again. So we'll kind of, we'll brush by it a little quicker this time, but. Um, <laughs> Measures uh, one more time. Two, 